Hi everyone, let's talk today about learning these filigree passages that Chopin uses so much and Liszt as well, like in the first ballade. How do we go about tackling those passages? I think a lot of uh, students feel a little overwhelmed looking at those little things. And like, how do we go about looking at that. So the key is to break it down. We want to break this down into uh, things that make sense. And of course, also decide a fingering, uh, determine a fingering that maybe will change or you will change as you, as you go along. For now, I'm just going to give you the one I have before we get started here, in, in case you're working with an edition that doesn't have this. So four, three, two, one, five, three, four, one. And here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Two, three, five, four, three, two, one. Two, three, one, two, three, five, four, three, two, one. Three or four. Okay? So if you don't have fingering, you can go and look at that and pause the video and check it out. Now, how do we break this down, right? This, there's a way of breaking this down. Many ways, actually. We can just start with that pretty much have those 16th groups out of the way, those three groups of 16th. So you can practice like this or do both. So you start with this and eventually, or even like that, or like that. All right, there's gonna be a video to rewind and just check so you can see all the different ways of practicing this. Now, here's another spot we can do. That's very good. Until that becomes easy. Then you have this. This one's easy, five, four, three, two, one. See, we're finding little pieces inside this filigree that's really intense that we can make something easy, make something that's that's easy to practice, is easy to practice. Then eventually we'll connect it to But you can't practice this very successfully, I think, if you just play every note from beginning to end and keep repeating it. That's that's the thing we're getting at here. We're breaking it down, finding little pieces of it, and then s slowly putting those pieces together. All right, so we had we had this, then we have this, or even just this. You take the smallest piece that's easy, right? If it's too hard, you probably have too big of a chunk. So take fewer notes instead of, you just do, and, and then eventually put those two pieces together. Then we talked about this one. This one's really easy. So you might be able to do, like this, and work on that. Now we have what comes next. You can practice that with relative ease, especially if you have a good fingering, right? Two, three, two, three, one, two, three, five. So you have that. This one is easy. This one is easy. You start to put them together. Right? Ensuite, we have. We have. That's also easy. So, see, when you once you break down the whole thing, you realize it's not such a, a mystery, this mystical filigree that's just a whole bunch of notes and we have no idea where to put them. Right? Easy stuff. Also easy, not hard. 
and then gradually you put these pieces together. Now, how else can you do this? Also like that, yeah? You can repeat the, repeat the first and last note of your sections. So as you can see, there's more than one way of doing this, right? Then eventually you start to put these pieces together, make them bigger and bigger. And it's kind of like laying down bricks. You know when you lay down bricks, or if any of you played with Legos as, as kids, you have, you know, if you're building a wall, let's say you put two by fours, two by four bricks, and then you start stacking them up, but you don't want to stack them all up in the same place. You alternate, right? You alternate your bricks like this. That's very similar. So if we had, let's say, this, and then this, this one, and this. That's four pieces. Let's say here's one piece. Here's a second one. Here's a third one. And here's the last one. Then you can start to alternate your sections, just like those bricks, right? Instead of having uh, something that's going to stop, on this D, now we'll have something that goes through that part. So maybe, right? Yeah, see that we just, we're, we're, it's like laying down the bricks. Now, the next question is where to place the left hand beats. them in specific places. Of course, in the beginning we have 16th notes. But after that, it's not it's not so clear. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1. It looks like every six notes, yeah? But I think in this kind of passage, if it wasn't necessarily every six notes, that could also be okay. to know exactly where that left hand went. All right, so we had all kinds of little pieces now, like laying down the bricks. What about the big pieces? Let's split this whole thing in half now, okay? This is this is later, right? You're not, probably not going to do this on the first day of practicing this, unless you're really, really, really fast and this is not so hard for you. So the bigger pieces, we could split this whole thing in two. We're going to go from the beginning up to there and then from there to the end. All right? So once you've worked on those little chunks, this should be relatively easy. I'm sorry. And then... If you're able to do that... You're just one small step, really a small step away from... getting the whole thing down in one shot. All right, so there's how we work on this filigree, yeah? I like to call it filigree. It's kind of sounds like that. So you break it down, break it down into little pieces. So, so you can work on something easy. You work on little spots that are easy. Find the easiest spot. I think in this case, this part. slowly start. 